What's up guys? And welcome to another, I don't know actually what this video is gonna be. I have a ton of, okay, actually I thought I was gonna have more hot cash. I only have two hot caches, which is kind of abnormal, but I have like a ton of box lunch money. So I obviously have been buying a lot of pops from them. I have probably like, this is four right here, but I think I have another five in my wallet. So I have a lot of box lunch money. This just started today, I think is the first day. Is it the night? No, yesterday was the, the first day. So I'm actually really excited to go to box lunch and maybe see what they have. Um, I really want some of those Wally items. So I think that's gonna be good. I have stuff that I wanna get. The Hot Topic one, there's stuff that I wanna get, but I was surprised to only have basically $30 worth of hot cash. So I'm gonna have to pick and choose wisely. So let's go ahead and just check out to see what we have. Um, my hot cash expires by Sunday. So I definitely have to use that today, but the box lunch money lasts until the 29th. So I have some time for that. So I don't have to like rush for that, but we'll see. Okay, let's do it. Yes. Okay, there's not really anything that I want from Hot Topic, so I think what I'm gonna do is go to Box Lunch, see what they have, and I think what I'm gonna end up with are the, the Crunchyroll boxes, just because I saw those online and they look pretty cool, and there's some Chase figures, so I'll go back to Hot Topic after I go to Box Lunch and we'll see what we think. You guys, Box Lunch has a freaking Grey's Anatomy shirt. Wait, can you see it? I've never seen a Grey's Anatomy shirt before. That's cool. I think this is the shirt that I want to get though, right here. Right there, right there. I think I want this, you guys. I think I want this. Okay, let's see if we can find a good condition now. Okay, I think I'm gonna get this. This one's in good condition. Set that to the side. I might have some Black Panther. I don't like this one of Parakeet. I don't like the way you Wait, is this one I have? It might be the one I have, I don't remember. <gasps> oh, that's one I have already. <laughs> well, I have these. I saw these online, I don't know what these are. Is that a good one? Hello. 
Lovely on spotting. Oh, the heck is it? Oh, no, I'm just looking. Thank you. This is my favorite incredible dash. It's always been my favorite because he was fast. And I'm fast. This one looks good. We'll get one. And they're going to sale. Two for 18. Do they have any other? Let's see. Nothing else. I think I could probably hold off on a last girl for now. I don't know what this is, but this thing is the cutest thing ever. What is this? It's like a Pikachu wearing a hat. What is that? Ugh, I think I need that. <gasps> Look, there's a Pikachu in a hat. Ugh. These are for socks. I like the um, the fadiness of them. Okay, I'm a little bit sad because all of these boxes are dented. I realize that there's all creases in these, so I'm gonna put them back and we're not gonna get it here. Okay guys, I don't know what I do because I, I can't find another pop and I don't wanna just buy one because they're on sale two for 18. So I think what I might just put this back because I'm sure I can get this in a lot of different places once they all come out. And then I think I'm just gonna look at some stuff together. They have so much cool stuff. Look at this cool stuff. Let me show you, hold on. Okay, I definitely need this shirt. Look at this cool shirt, that's amazing. I'm gonna get that one for sure. That's a cool Reptar shirt. Cynthia shirt? How cool would that be? Oh, Naked Tommy? These are tank tops, not my style. Oh, this is the other Hey Arnold one. That one's a little bit funky. I don't know if I like that one. This is the winner though. This is the person. I guess they had an art competition. I guess this person won. Maybe I'll get that one. Look at this cool alarm clock. Is that not the freaking coolest alarm clock? I think I might have to get this. It's very expensive, but I can get it for 20 right now. I bet you don't care. All right guys, I dropped by FYE. I don't really have anything to buy, but I think I might get that Rugrats car shade. I think I'm gonna do it. And I get 10% off because I'm a member, so yes. I think that's what we're gonna do. And I did get my box lunch stuff. Okay, I just walked in there with the, the window shade. I was actually had more in my hands, but I put it away. And now I'm gonna go back to Hot Topic and get these these uh, these boxes right here, Country Roll boxes. I think I'm just gonna kill both of my 
bucks lunch monies on it though. All right guys, that was a pretty successful trip to the mall. I got all my stuff from Hot Topic. I used both of my hot caches. I didn't do as good with that. I went like, because the two Crunchyroll boxes, I'll tell you guys later. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go head home now and then I'll show you guys what I got. Yes. All right guys, I just got home and in a second I'm gonna show you everything that I got. I'm gonna show you when I'm inside, but I wanted to not bring the window shade in because I knew it would take me forever to bring it back out to my car. So I put it up and I'm gonna show you guys in action what this cool window shade looks like. Look at that beauty. Isn't that cool? Oh, I'm so happy with my purchase. That's freaking amazing. Now I just need to make sure that I'm not lazy and I actually put it up so that it doesn't, you know, defeat the purpose of the whole point, you know. All right, let's go uh, see what I got today. Hey guys, so you just saw my uh, shopping trip that I did a couple days ago in order to spend my Hot Topic Hot Cash and some of my box lunch money. I want to show you guys really quickly what I got. S few disclaimers, yes. It's the next day after filming my other videos that I filmed yesterday and I'm wearing the same shirt because I fell asleep last night and I am running late and I need to film this really fast. So, we're just gonna knock this out. Um, before I start, I want to show you a couple things that I got from Target a couple days ago because I didn't get a chance to show you guys. But I happened to go to Target to get some stuff and in their pop section, they had a couple of Target exclusives that I decided to pick up. These are 8-bit Stranger Things pops. So we got the Demogorgon and we got Eleven with Egos. And I really like 8-bit pops, which is one of the biggest reasons why I bought these. Um, but I also like Stranger Things and I like exclusive so I picked these bad boys up I'm still in the process of I, I've heard from you guys that I can go to Target I was always wondering like do Targets get chase figures um, and you guys said that they do and that the best time to go is Sunday is that true story so I'm gonna try to go on a Sunday one day not this Sunday but a Sunday and see if I can get some chase figures I don't know if that's how it works anyways that's what I got from Target um, I got that last week sometime I'm gonna show you what I got from Hot Topic if you didn't see already. I ended up getting two of these Crunchyroll boxes. These were each priced at $29.90, which sucked because I had two hot cash, which means that I was 20 cents short of getting the like perfect discount. And I was gonna get a pin, which is $1.99. It's like the cheapest thing that they have in order to just hit the, uh, I have to hit, I had to spend $60 in order to be able to use my hot cash, both of them. But instead of buying something that I didn't need, although I don't know why I didn't think about that at Box Lunch, uh, I ended up getting some Tower Punch straws because I love these. So I was like, well, these are freaking expensive. These were $4.50. So I definitely went over a little bit. The goal with Hot Cash is always to buy um, before taxes, it's to buy in sets of 30. So my subtotal was $34.30. So I was $4.30 over. It happens. The reason I was disappointed about that is because my first trip was actually to Box Lunch. And let me show you guys how that turned out, because that actually went really, really well. I was very proud of myself. You guys know, sometimes it becomes a game for me where I want to, like, try to get it as close to the, you know, the $30 mark as I can. Here we go. So, I bought a lot of shirts. If you guys are hoping to see pops, I'm sorry, you're not going to see any pops. Oh, we all see, you saw those pops, so you saw some pops. Um, first item we got is this Pusheen keychain slash backpack clip slash whatever you want to use it for. These are plushy. It's like Pusheen and this his little friend. I don't actually know what the friend's name is. Stormy, maybe? He looks all over the place. Like, he looks like a hot mess, but he's really cute. It's a set of two. This was so expensive. It was so expensive, guys. So overpriced, but I felt a little bit invincible just because I had so much box lunch money. I ended up getting this for my coworker's daughter, who I believe, I hopefully she still likes Pusheen, I'm not quite sure. But I just saw it and was like, I thought it was the cutest thing ever. This thing, whatever this thing is, I absolutely was like, oh yeah, I'm getting this. So this thing was, I don't want to tell you guys, it was $15.90, regular price. Remember, I didn't pay regular price for anything. So $15.90 for that. Um, I got a bunch of shirts. I think you might have seen the shirts that I got, but I'll show you anyways. The first shirt that I got is my awesome Wally shirt. Got this in a men's medium. I absolutely love this. This is the Earth Day shirt, so it has Eve and, and Wally. I call her Eva, yes, because that's what he calls her, Eva. Their shirts, again, regular price are very expensive. This one is, all the shirts were 28 
$28.90. So keep that in mind, $28.90. And yes, I walked around the store with the calculator on my phone to make sure that I got as close to the $30 points as possible as much as possible. Next shirt I got was this one. I actually just really liked this design. I loved how it looked. I, it was like, it's like one of those designs, but it's the super mushroom. So it's like cool, you know? I don't know. I thought this was really neat. I enjoyed it. I don't know if you guys really like it. It's kind of, it's a little bit weird, but I like it. Uh, then I got this one, which I hope this fits because when I pulled this at first, I was so excited because I love the design, but then I found out that <clears throat> it's a women's shirt. So I ended up getting a large, a women's large in this, but look at this. I guess Box Lunch had some kind of artist like thing, like a competition. This was actually just a finalist. I didn't buy the winning shirt design because I didn't really like it, to be honest. Um, but I really liked this one. I just love the way that they look on that. So hopefully the shirt fits me. I think it'll be okay. I think it'll fit me pretty okay until it starts shrinking. And then the last shirt I got, oh, this is actually the winner. Well, this is one. Yeah, this is the winner. So never mind. I did buy the winning one. So this is another Hey Arnold. So this is a men's medium. It's like, it's like the beginning scene, basically, like girls versus boys. Although, never mind, just kidding. I was surprised that this was the winning design. It's cool. Definitely cool. I don't know if it's like winning cool, but it's cool. Uh, you guys know I love hair on. And you know what I love the most is that I wore this shirt yesterday when I saw Jackson. Jackson saw it and immediately was like, oh, I watched hair on the jungle movie. I really like hair on. And I was like, Oh my god, and I got so excited. I don't meet a lot of little kids that watch Nicktoons. Oh my gosh, it made me so excited. I did end up getting the really overpriced alarm clock because I couldn't help it. Look how cool this is. It actually, like, these these two buttons don't work, but these buttons work, and then this one I'm assuming you use to, like, move the time. I'm so excited just to have this on my table as a clock. Maybe not an alarm clock, but just a regular clock. I know I have my phone that I could use, but it's not as cool as this. Like, look how cool this is. This is really cool. This was overpriced. $39.90, very expensive. And the last time I got, and I'll explain why I got this in a second, is this self-color changing egg. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's an egg that changes colors. It was $8.90. Okay, the reason I ended up getting the egg, and this is why I was proud of myself, is like I said, I walked around with a calculator in my hand. My subtotal before tax ended up being $90.30. So you have to, I had, how many hot cash did I use? I used, well, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That wasn't my subtotal, that wasn't my subtotal. That was before the, uh, that was after the discount. My subtotal ended up being $180.30. So I used six hot cash, six times 30 is 180. So I had, I knew that with my calculator I had to spend a total of 180 sub, subtotal in order to be able to use six hot, hot cash cleanly and basically get 50% off of my purchase, like straight 50%. Because if you buy too much, then it's not a clean 50% off. And that was, that's always my goal with hot cash and, and box lunch money. Like I just want to try to get the exact 50% discount. So I was a little bit off. I was off by, um, by 30 cents which I was okay with. I knew that going into it. I needed something that was $8.60 and this was $8.90, which is why I ended up with this color changing egg. Yes, I know, I could have gotten a pop or something, but it, at the time my mind was telling me like, get as close to 180 as you can. I was literally like in the candy section. I was trying to figure out what is gonna get me as close to exactly being at $180 as possible? And it just so happened that I stumbled upon this egg and it was $8.90 and I was like, okay, I'm okay being 30 cents over. I think I can handle that. So I got that and the people at Box Lunch, as always, were so kind and so nice. Actually, um, my trip to Hot Topic as well at this mall, usually Hot Topic isn't as great for me, but uh, I also, um, had a really, really nice cashier. I forgot what her name was. Uh, there's no name on these receipts, but salesperson 24397. She was awesome at Hot Topic. I really enjoyed her. She was really nice. 
and Amy and Alyssa were the ones that helped me out. Amy was the one who helped me out at Box Lunch and she was extremely nice as well. So shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for your awesome customer service. And yeah, that was my Box Lunch and Hot Topic haul and some Target stuff that I got too. Um, I still have, I think, three box lunch cash. They don't expire until the 29th, and so I was hoping to, to hang on to them just in case they had any exclusive pops come out or chase pops come out that I could then use my hot cash for or my box lunch money. If I don't end up thinking I'm gonna use it as we get closer, I will definitely post it online for you guys just in case anybody else is interested in using it. All right, guys, that is all I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize I didn't get any pops. I just had trouble. I really wanted to get the Dilophosaurus, as you probably might have seen, but all of the, like, as I, I thought I got a good one, and as I was walking away, I saw the big crease in the back. I went back, looked through all of them, and I just couldn't find anything in good condition, so I was a little bit disappointed. And so I also then put my, um, my dash... My dash pop. I had a dash pop that I was going to get, but I put that back too because I figured I can find them and instead of rushing to get them, I'll just wait. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know down below what you guys thought about this video. Let me know if you guys used any hot cash or box lunch money. What did you get? And were you able to get it right on the like $30 price point so you got exactly 50% off? Let me know down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked, you're such a private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out is going to go to Stuart Glover. Stuart Glover, I don't remember if I've given you a, a video shout out recently, but but you have been super active in my comment section and you've also been super active on my Twitter. So I just wanted to give you the video shot. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I love reading all of your comments. They're very fun and I just really enjoy them. So Stuart, you get the video shout out. Shout out to you, Stuart Glover. Shout out to you. All right, guys. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.